How do I track my cycle and when do I have sex? Now these are the questions that couples ask when they're trying to fall pregnant and it's just not that easy. Some couples click their fingers and they're pregnant and for others it's much harder and finding out when you're actually releasing the egg when you're fertile is really helpful. Welcome to Fertile Minds. My name is Dr Fleur Cattrall and I am a Melbourne IVF fertility specialist. I have been helping women and couples fall pregnant for nearly 20 years. Today I'd like to share with you some of the tips on how to get pregnant. Women ovulate one egg a month, so that's only 12 eggs in 365 days and the egg only lasts for 24 hours. So it's no wonder that this is difficult. The typical ovulation cycle is 25 days in length and the classic textbook would say you ovulate on day 14. But in fact, some women will ovulate a little bit later than that and some a little earlier and some women have long cycles 35 days, 40 days, and some women have 25 days cycles. So there's quite a range when that egg can be re uh, released every month. So one way to track the fertile time is to uh, record your cycle length. So if it's 20, 28 days every month, then you know the target point is around day 14, or 28 days, minus 14. But some women, they'll ovulate a little bit later than day, day 14 in a 28 day cycle. So it might be 28 days minus 10. So you might uh, be ovulating somewhere between day 14 and day 18. So women will do various things to try and pick this fertile time. Some women will look at their cervical mucus and if it's stretchy then they'll have sex around that time. Some women do their what we call basal body temperature and this can be very confusing. So what we know is that as oestrogen rises you get that egg white mucus but it's really hard to pick the day of ovulation. So Having sex every couple of days leading up to ovulation will help uh, make sure that sperm is available at every possible opportunity that that egg is released. Don't worry about the cervical mucus, it's a very difficult sign. Progesterone is a thermogenic hormone and that will rise after ovulation and you can pick that up with the urine, uh, with the temperature testing every morning, uh, but it will only rise after the egg's no good. So don't worry about that either. Have sex every couple of days leading up to that day 14, uh, or if you have a 35 day cycle, minus 14 from 35 and have sex around about day 21, but have sex every couple of days leading up to ovulation. But the urine ovulation tests are the best predictor of when that egg is going to be released. Every morning leading up to ovulation, you do the first urine sample of the morning. And when you get that positive OPK, as we call it, then have sex that day, the next day, and the day after. Women need to become familiar with their own cycle. The best way to do this is actually with one of the fertility apps and there's many around. So record your day one, the first day of your period in the fertility apps, and these will calculate a window, a fertile window. So this is the time we think the egg will be released. Now, one of the problems with the apps is they're calculated by a standard, when the egg is released, it's 14 days until your period. But for some women, it can be a little shorter than that from ovulation until their period can be as short as 10 days. So make sure that you uh, cover that later part a little bit after what the app would say. An even better way is to get the urine ovulation tests and use that with the fertility apps. So every morning 
you do the urine ovulation test. Start just before that fertile window in, in the app. When you see the positive ovulation test, you know your egg will be released the next day and that the egg will last for 24 hours. So the ideal, most fertile time is to have sex the day the ovulation test is positive, the next day and the day after. If there's any doubt, have sex every couple of days leading up to the fertile window on the fertility app and a little bit later. If you're really struggling, then see a fertility specialist because we can track through your cycle and we can use vaginal ultrasound to pick the egg growing and this can help with timing. So you get to ovulation day. You've picked ovulation from the urine ovulation tests and now it's time to have sex. Now one of the problems that couples have is that they have to, they have to perform on that day and a lot of men do get stage fright and they find it difficult to keep having sex uh, for many days and same, same with women. So uh, if you know when you're ovulating, um, that's great, you'd have more, more sex. But sex every couple of days leading up to ovulation means at least there'll be sperm around it, all the possible opportunities uh, for the egg to be released. The other thing that uh, men wonder about is whether they should save up their sperm and wait until ovulation day. But in fact, this is not the best thing to do. Sperm quality is much better when ejaculation happens more frequently. Sperm quality is actually better with daily uh, ejaculation. So we don't want men to save up sperm for a week before having sex. It is much better for sperm health to have sex every couple of days. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, everyone has their own personal story and it would be really helpful to speak to your family doctor or a fertility specialist to discuss your own individual circumstances. If you have any questions about anything I've discussed, please leave a comment below. Take care and good luck with your journey.